Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, uh, it's another couple of weeks since we did our experiment on folding uh, a double-sided tape canvas back up, rolling it back up. Um, after the first week, it had got quite a few rivers and things, so I think we're about two and a half weeks since then, possibly three weeks. Uh, I'd have to check the dates, so that's that one. And then, due to uh, requests from people, I did then fold a canvas the opposite way around, so I folded it with the drill area in on a double-sided tape canvas, so we could see what that one looked like as well. So here's an update on where we are. Will we be able to recover these canvases? Yes, was the cry. We always can and I will do. So let's have a look and see where we are now. Okay, oh, we've got some really big creases there. I would say we have got extra ones now. Oh, look at that. Wow, okay, that is huge. Wow, you could drive a blinking oil tanker through that river down there. Goodness me, that has come out really badly. Uh, let me just move the foam roller out the way. So, yeah, I think you can see. I don't think I really need to show you that. See if I can just get the shadow on it. Yeah, look at that. It's like my Everest in the middle of my canvas. Okay, so it seems to be... Um, where it's rolled up towards this end this was the nearest to the foam roller this side hasn't fared too badly but let's have a look at this side okay goodness me hardly dare look at this but i think we knew what it was going to be but uh, it just proves wow that uh, yeah if you fold your double-sided tape canvases back up and you are going to have an awful lot of extra work to do to get these sorted out so these are definite rivers wow as i say yeah just uh, goodness me look at that river i think you can sort of see it yeah you can see it better from the back but yeah you can see from the front we've got that enormous one there we've got one here at this end here is coming from there sorry it's not brilliant to show with because it's reflective and one there so yeah it's a definite do not roll back up your double-sided tape canvases uh, they will just not fare well so i've got my nice new ceramic pen cutter This is like just normal double-sided tape for wrapping or card making or whatever. So what's happened is the paper on the other side has creased. So just move this out of the way, see if I can do it. So you know when you put sticky tape down, you pull it, there's a bump in the wrapping paper and you sort of, as you're pulling it across, you end up with like a, a river underneath and you think, oh no. So your tape's gone across, but now if you flatten that tape, it's gonna pull all your paper and make it look terrible. So the way to cure it on a pass parcel that you're wrapping up is to just literally go into like the river and cut it there. So you're releasing those two sides. So you're basically then leaving a little bit of a gap in the sticky but it still works and that's what you're needing to do on your canvas when you're doing it i hope i'm explaining this okay um <laughs> this is what i like knit too this is, this is how i like knit so what you've got to do to make this lie flat because obviously you're not going to be able to put uh, beads or drills on there for any uh, length of time they're just they're just not going to lay flat and you'll end up with them popping and moving and coming off so let me just, the only thing with these pens is because they are so small, if I've not got my magnifier, I can't see which way around they go. So what you need to do, rather than using a pair of scissors and cutting it, if you just go literally down the middle of the river, what you're doing then is releasing the top cover so that it just parts that little bit to then make it lay flat that little bit. So we'll do that again, just uh, Get my pen the right way around, oops. And make sure I'm going down the river there and down the river there. So there isn't really many canvases that you would say you can't recover. 
um, some are worse than others. But if you received a canvas like this, I would certainly get in touch with um, the company that sent you it and just say, look, this isn't good enough. This, you know, this is a spoiled canvas, really. You shouldn't have to be putting work into a canvas before you use it. It should just come uh, in a really good condition. So now, if I press these papers back down, it may take a couple of times doing it. But if you just press it down, you'll now find that you're actually losing that big river. And it's just a quick way to recover a canvas. Okay, this, the paper's not brilliant there. But yeah, just flatten it down. Use a roller or a rolling pin or put it under a book or something heavy. Uh, I'm just using my fingers there. So yeah, I mean, it, it, you can see now, look. Yeah, it's... It's obviously got more than one there. It's done this bit here, so I just need to work more on these bits over here. So let's just take that paper up again and have another look. But yeah, very interesting. As I say, I know when I first started diamond painting, you know, I, I always heard people saying, oh, don't roll it back up. And I just thought, yeah, I do like to know why. I'm very much, uh, well, yeah, okay, uh, I heard you say that, and it's it's not that I don't believe you, it's that I want to see, well, what really does happen? Why does it do that? So, yeah, just do it a couple of times. It should still be sticky. There should still be enough sticky um, to put your drills on. If not, if you just use a little tiny bit of PVA glue, a little bit of sealer, or if you get Craft Buddy, uh, do a, a magic glue, that actually turns a canvas into um, turns a canvas into a poured glue canvas, then that's really good, and that's worth uh, having a go with. So let's see, it's uh, rolled up that little bit more again. So it's just a case, yeah, you can see now. Look, it is starting to flatten down. I think you can see. It's still there a little bit, but we are starting to get a little bit more flattening and it's just a case of working on it. Now, I'm not going to roll this one back up again because I think we'd just end up with more rivers and more rivers and more rivers. Um, but what I am going to do is try and take the uh, sticky off and turn this into a poured glue canvas. So that's the first one. OK, so now let's have a look at the other one. Okay, so see what's happened when we've actually turned it the wrong way around. Oh, wow, look at that. Now, I didn't have a foam roller. I just, just used some uh, bubble wrap on this one. I didn't have a foam roller. Can you believe it? I keep everything, but yeah, I'd, um, <laughs> I'd thrown it away. I'd tied it up before I did this. Never mind. So, yeah. So actually, more or less the same thing has happened, but look at that. And mm, about the same, really. Not as, I thought this would be a lot worse. Um, I really did think this would be a lot worse. Again, that's after two and a half weeks. Uh, it was a canvas that had been flat for a while, so maybe that made a difference. But yeah, so... Yeah, I don't think it makes any difference when you haven't got the drills on as to which way around you roll your canvas. Once you have actually put your drills on, you've got all your canvas completed, always roll it backwards, don't roll it inwards because you're actually putting pressure on the drills by um, putting them together and they're going to start popping off because they're not made to then roll into one another. You do need them. Uh, to be rolling out to just give them that little bit of breathing space but yeah that that's that's pretty bad although oh no, hang on let me have a look because that just looks like it might be just the top cover just just do go there a minute stay <laughs> do you know that is actually just the top cover Yeah, that is just the top cover. That that canvas has not got a river in it at all. Yeah, no, this canvas has actually stayed. It is just the top cover. 
So, shall we just roll this on a foam roller then the wrong way and see what it looks like? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll roll it on a, the foam roller because we didn't put it on a foam roller, did we? Now, that is really interesting because I did expect that this would actually um, be worse than the one rolled back up again the other way. So let me grab the foam roller and I am going to roll this one back up again and we'll leave this one another couple of weeks. So that is really interesting. That's interesting if you're wanting to gift some larger paintings to somebody because I have got some paintings I am wanting to donate um, that are poured glue, uh, sorry, that are double-sided tape um, but I haven't really got a way to post them because they've got to stay flat. But if I can, let me just put this a little bit tighter. If I can post them rolled the wrong way around, then they may be okay to send. Now that is really interesting. Oh, I do like playing about and having a look at these things. So that's giraffe rolled back up again. And we'll see what it looks like in another couple of weeks. It's actually around a foam roller this time. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me and uh, seeing my little experiment and see where we're going from there. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. Uh, if you've enjoyed looking at this video, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next video comes out. So thanks for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.